hey y'all welcome back to my channel and today we're back with another nail tutorial the nail tips i'm going to be using are from amazon which will be listed down below in the description my brush is from kiera sky and it's a size 12 but of course if you guys do not know um affordable nail brush i recommend you can use panna it's very affordable if you're a beginner and the monomer I use is from Young Nails and the acrylic I'm using today is also from Young Nails. So, um, I want to just talk a little bit about brushes. Um, when it comes down to like application and stuff, you have to have a good quality brush. The hair store brush ain't going to work for you. Dollar Tree, Walmart, all that, I don't know about all them stuff, but you have to have a good quality quality brush i spend about 30 or more on a brush and i don't mind spending that amount of money on a brush because i know i'm gonna have a good quality brush there is some brushes that's very expensive that's not good quality so i would say make sure you're um doing your research before you buy it um if you go to the nail store make sure you touch it look at it but um like i said panna off amazon is pretty decent a good beginner brush um you're going to run through brushes you're going to mess up some brushes especially when you're a beginner messed up a lot of brushes as a beginner so you're going to have acrylic getting stuck in it you just got to be very very careful get you a brush holder where you can put a little bit of acetone and monomer inside of it and just clean your brush and make sure you don't get no acrylic stuck in it make sure you don't leave it just sitting in monomer all night you guys have to make sure you take care of your brush make sure you're cleaning it and if you have to use um brush cleaner i just never used it i always just use my monomer and my acetone and i mixed it up if you guys would like, you can go ahead and go over to my Amazon storefront. I have very much so almost everything that I have brought in from Amazon as a beginner and as an advanced nail tech. I still be adding things on my Amazon storefront because when I was a beginner, it was hard for me to find um, good quality products. And to be honest, some of these products that I have on here is things that work for me. As a nail tech, you're going to find what works for you. So I have some people that says they don't like Young Nails product, but I love it. Some people don't like Valentino, but I love it. Some people like Eye Gel Beauty, and I hate their products. But, you know you as a nail tech you're gonna find what works for you and you're gonna stick with what works for you you just have to try different things i say don't buy acrylic by bulk unless you know you like the brand so don't go and buy the full line of their acrylic collection because you know you like the brand or i mean because you um see other nail techs use it go and try that brand out for yourself my biggest thing when I was a beginner where I messed up at was I was buying things that I see on YouTube. When I see somebody do a YouTube tutorial, oh, I go quickly and go buy everything they, they're talking about. No, I had to literally sit here and do my research. So, you know, to help everybody, I just already have everything listed on my Amazon storefront. So you can actually see and you can read the comments and stuff like that. And you can see what works for you. So enough talking. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys continue watching this application progress. Um, I find application very, very satisfying. So I don't like to talk too much during application. So go ahead and watch. And if you haven't done so, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.
So now all of the application, shaping, and filing is done. I'm going to go ahead and use my blooming gel to do the design. And to be honest, I have like a rainbow kind of effect marbling design in mind. So I'm using a lot of nice colors. I do not remember exactly what color they are. But if you guys leave me a comment, I can go ahead and find the exact color and tell you the brand that I'm using. So what I did was I applied the marble gel. The, I'm not, I'm so sorry, the blooming gel. And then I go ahead and take my brush and pick up, you know, just like little pieces of, um, well, like little beads of the gel polish. And I just move it around. I swirl it around. I let the blooming gel do its thing. And that's how I get this marble effect. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you clean the sides because you do not want to um, make the gel polish become like very bulky and lose the shape of your nail. So always clean the sides of the nail. Whether you, Every time it comes down to you applying gel polish, always clean the sides of your nail. So you still have that nice coffin shape or square shape, whatever shape you're having. You want to make sure you always have a sharp shape. So it's like... All that fouling you did just to make it look so perfect, once you apply that gel polish, you don't want that gel polish to mess up all your hard work. So just clean the sides. And to be honest, you guys, I'm not picking up the gel polish in no kind of way. I'm just literally going with the flow. It's no order. I'm just picking up whatever color, whatever I see need more color. I'm just letting the marble... Um, well, the blooming gel do the marbling for me, and I just go with the flow. It's not, this is not a hard design to do. It's very, very easy, simple, and it's, it's one, two, three. It's very cute, so just go with the flow. I, some of the colors I mix together, like I pick up two colors at the same time and place it out and some of the colors I just do by itself so it just all depends on my mood when I'm picking up the gel polish but it's not very hard to do just don't think about it place it and let the blooming gel do its work and to be honest you guys you do not have to use the exact colors I'm using you can use whatever color you like this design can go nice with a light blue and dark blue mixed together or black and white red and orange whatever you're going for whatever mood you're going for you can just go ahead and do it don't have to be the exact color sometimes as no text we look at other people's work and we want to do it the same exact way you don't have to do it the same exact way do what works for you and talking about that it reminds me i tell my clients this all the time you can show me a picture of someone else's work and yeah, it's cool. I'm going to try to do it the best way I can if you want me to do it the exact way. But you have some clients that's like, oh no, it have to be this exact way. And it's like, if you wanted it that exact way, you should have went to that nail tech that did that exact design. Because I am myself. I am not that other nail tech. I only can do what I know how to do in the best way I can do it. Everybody don't do the same kind of French. Everybody don't do the same kind of marble. Everybody don't do the same kind of shape. People do what they're used to. So it's either you're going to rock with it or not. I can look at a picture and, you know, create it the way I know how to create it. But my French may not come out the way you want in that picture. And if you don't like it i will try my best to you know fix it as best as i can but honestly sometimes clients be given getting it over their head where they feel like well this is not exactly how i wanted it in a picture it's like girl what i'm doing it the best way i can but anyways so i'm gonna do chrome so i gotta do the black i do like the black outline first and then I cure in the lap for 60 seconds. But this is the catcher. Before I do my chrome, I wipe the nail off with alcohol. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the black gel. And then cure in the lap for 30 seconds. And then put 
the chrome over it so that way the chrome doesn't get stuck to everywhere else so once i dust it off the entire thing just gonna dust it's not gonna be placed like on the nude area or you know it's only gonna stick to what the chrome is supposed to stick to which is the black gel I honestly feel like adding the chrome just gave this set like a nice little pop. So all these nice beautiful colors and then I add this silver chrome. It just makes it look so much prettier and it just, you know, it just pop out the nail a little bit more. So now I'm going to go ahead and dust off all the chrome, make sure I have no chrome anywhere. I really do this very, very good because I don't want chrome to be everywhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and top coat it. What I like to do is when I'm doing the chrome, I like to use a top coat that I can only use when I'm doing chrome. So that way the chrome, like the glitter of, of the chrome don't get into my basic or reg my regular top coat that I use basically every day. So I just go ahead and just make this one top coat for only when I do chrome nails. Once I am done, I'm going to go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds. And this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment. Bye.